Today in the news we've got iPhones, some 14 nanometer drama, and a dog. Not my dog, but a dog. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. So before we start, I have a little announcement. Memory Express has stepped up to become the first sponsor of Boot Sequence. They're based here in Canada and offer a complete price beat guarantee, not to mention their stores in Calgary, Winnipeg, and Vancouver, which are a great place to try out all of the latest peripherals for yourself before you buy them. Check out their online shop in the link below. And once again, thank you, Memory Express. So Apple unveiled their new phones and everybody already talked about them so I won't bore you with all of the details. But I've got to slip in my two cents about the lineup. The three phones, the 10s, the 10s Max and the 10R make me feel like Apple is going back to its roots by making sure that they have the most expensive phones possible. To be honest, I kind of like that all three phones are so similar. You don't get any kind of speed differences between them, they all still have great cameras and really the only thing that you're sacrificing with the 10R is the screen resolution, making it lower than the 8 Plus with a larger screen. Sure, it's an LCD, but it's not like Apple's LCDs are bad anyways. By the way, everyone is wondering what the R stands for, and it's pretty clear that it's for regular. Regular people, that is. I mean, the addition to the lineup was made as a <coughs> budget device for regular people. Anyhow, personally, it's a mixed bag of that's pretty cool and what did you expect from Apple, right? Hopefully the next generation will have more innovation. Moving on, Dyson just announced their new robot vacuum, the 360 Heurist. This vacuum is... I'm just kidding, guys. The next thing I want to talk about is Intel, and there's a little bit of a backstory here because it will affect a few things. Earlier this week, it was reported that Intel was going to outsource its 14 nanometer process to TSMC. This mainly because Intel fell short of demand by up to 50%. The point was to let TSMC handle entry level H310 and other 300 series desktop processors. The problem when you include a different fabricator into the mix is the possibility of having chips that perform better if they are from a specific manufacturer. Now the fact that Intel has this CPU shortage made some publication like DRAM Exchange and Tom's Hardware assume that because of this, and I quote DRAM Exchange here, it is now possible that the price decline will become even larger due to the shortage of Intel CPUs and lower demand for notebook and PC DRAM in a row. Well now, Intel is refuting those claims of seeking TSMC's help for their 14 nanometer process saying that it is handling the process on its own. What does this mean? Well, it could point to two things. First, that it might take a little bit longer before we see prices of DRAM go down since it seems like Intel has got a handle on the fabrication. And secondly, if you were planning to buy a 9000 series chip, there might not be enough for everyone right away. All right, let's talk gaming. Tencent, the company that owns PUBG, is coming out with a free-to-play battle royale game called Ring of Elysium, and it looks familiar, yet a little different. They just revealed their official trailer, and the game places you as a tourist in a mountain resort when a winter storm rolls in. There is only one rescue chopper coming for the hundreds of tourists, and it can only carry four people. So what do we do? Well, we kill each other. The trailer shows us how you can get around the map using hand gliders, zip lines, and various vehicles. The game world will also change dynamically as the storm creates havoc. It looks like a nice change of pace having four winners instead of one, and the free to play aspect makes me want to try it out. The game will be available on Steam on the 19th of this month, so stay tuned. Also in gaming, an unlikely figure joins the Smash roster. In a tweet, Nintendo of America gives us the introduction of Isabel into the series. For those unfamiliar, Isabel is the mayor's assistant in the town of Animal Crossing. The pup seems to have a similar moveset to those of the villager, but I don't think that she will be an Echo character. Nintendo really had us thinking that after Ridley, King K. Rule, and the Inklings, that there wouldn't be any new characters, but they just keep on revealing new ones and I love it. By the way, right before this announcement, Nintendo also announced a new Animal Crossing game for Switch in 2019. I never really played that game, but Smash definitely made me grow fond of the villager. 
All right, now about the live stream, it is this weekend, and once again, it is at 2 p.m. on Sunday, and I hope I'll see you guys for Boot Sequence Live. And that is pretty much it for the news today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click right here to subscribe to the channel and right here to watch the latest video. Free content, and uh, this is the subscription. But don't forget to click on that little bell so that you get notified for the live stream. So to all of you, stay frosty, and I'll see you on the next one.